We live in the age of the wolf in sheep's clothing. Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing, Jesus Christ said in the Sermon on the Mount. There's a version of the same thing in Aesop fables, and it goes all the way back to Greek mythology as well. The moral of it is that hucksters and liars and false prophets and pseudo-scholars and thieves, fascists and murderers and malevolence come to you with an innocent, harmless facade. Or even better, a mission statement about the good of all. Ted Bundy would wear a cast and ask for help loading his van. What's right and kind and good to the hungry wolf? I get angry with myself because I've been tricked by the wolf, believed stupid things because it sounded compassionate or intelligent or wise, cooked up by a think tank on a budget of a million dollars to sound that way. And I get angry with the world because I see sheep clothing factories popping up all around me. Left and right I see wolves advertising themselves as sheep. 100 billboards on the freeway don't pay for themselves. 500 ads a day on Instagram that I can recognize at least. Probably more than that because now we're talking about the complexity of a sheep costume that a trillion dollars can buy. Instagram's parent company, Facebook, is one giant skyscraper-shaped carnivorous wolf cloaked in wool. Be a wolf. Wear sheep's clothing. It's the business model, and business is good. I don't even have to name a single politician because you've already thought of ten. And even if I disagree with your political ideology, you're still probably right because hiding the fact that you're a wolf while also still being a wolf seems to be a foundational skill to master in order to have a long and prosperous career in high office. The wolves select from their own stock and write the rules of the game to protect their positions. Perverse incentives, institutional capture, influence peddling, rent seeking. The we the people part is the wolves trying to convince the sheep otherwise. But what's being done about it? What should be done about it? What could be done about it? Well, some other wolves, less successful ones on a tighter budget, have been making their own sheep's clothing. And the illusion is pretty convincing. Many sheep seem to buy it. But some sheep have also pointed out their snarling teeth and snout and their howling and stalking in the woods at night. Their motivation is questioned. But the true believers deny that the wolf is a wolf. Or they change the definition of wolf. Or they try to convince us that we didn't see what we saw. The path to orthodoxy, language games, lies internalized. Because of these things, many people are starting to dip their toe into the dark waters. Maybe a wolf could be a friend. Yeah. Or maybe a wolf who doesn't lie about what he is is better than a wolf who pretends to be what he's not. Maybe we need an honest wolf. Yes, that sounds good because at least that's different from what we've got. And anything has to be better than what we've got. Any alternative will do, thinks the sheep, as the wolf wipes away the drool from his costume. As a sheep, I must tell you, that style of thinking makes me extremely nervous and sad because I've read a lot about authoritarian states the logic that produces them, the lies that enforce them, the speed and scale at which wolves can devour, the consequences of sheep giving up on sheep. Don't be a sheep is what people say. I say don't be a wolf because the world has enough of them trying to bleed the rest of us dry. And besides, You'll just have to pretend you're a sheep anyways, because a wolf who has to disguise himself is better for all of us than a wolf who feels comfortable being himself. And we should keep it that way.